Note: The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, solid state drive, wireless module, and fans. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables connected to the system board for later replacement. Remove the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the larger I.O. support bracket to the top cover and system board. Lift the larger I.O. support bracket off of the alignment pins on the system board and remove. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the power connector cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the fingerprint reader board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard light ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard light ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the smaller I/O support bracket to the top cover and system board. Lift the smaller I/O support bracket off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Partially remove the speaker cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Carefully remove the left speaker from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Disconnect the left speaker from its connector on the system board and set the left speaker aside. Remove the RTC battery cable from the routing channel that secures it to the top cover. Carefully remove the RTC battery from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover and set it aside. Important: Make careful note of the placement of the tape that secures the system board to the top cover near the power connector for later replacement. Remove the tape that secures the system board to the top cover near the power connector. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Important: Do not grasp the system board by its ends. The system board is narrow and easily broken. Lift the system board off of the alignment pins and at an angle, slide the headphone microphone jack out of the cutout in the top cover. Remove the system board. Replacement. Note: Before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Heat sink, RTC battery. Tow the headphone microphone jack into the cutout in the top cover and lower the system board onto the alignment pins. Caution: Ensure that all the cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover.
Replace the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Replace the tape that secures the system board near the power connector to the top cover. Place the RTC battery into position on the top cover and press down on the RTC battery to adhere it to the top cover. Route the RTC battery cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Place the left speaker onto the alignment pins on the top cover and apply pressure to adhere it into position. Route the speaker cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Place the smaller I.O. support bracket onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the smaller I.O. support bracket to the top cover and system board. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard light ribbon cable into the keyboard light ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the fingerprint reader board ribbon cable into the fingerprint reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the power connector cable into its connector on the system board. Route the power connector cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the display panel cable into its connector on the system board and replace the retention tape. Place the I.O. support bracket onto the alignment pins on the system board. Replace the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. support bracket to the system board and top cover. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, Injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys.